Hi, my name is Stephen Hartley. I live in Banbury in the UK and this is an introductory video for those who are interested in attaining oneness with God or at least if not going that far at least improving your soul and your life as part of that. First of all I'd like to thank God as I feel I have his backing on the, or his and her backing on this and it may well be part of God's plan to get everybody in a better state. I want to just give you a brief, a very brief rundown of my life. Um, I have a Norwegian mother and an English father. Um, I was born in Maidstone, Kent where we quite soon moved up to Cheshire and then by the time I was one or two we moved to Richmond in North Yorkshire where I lived until I was five and then moved to Bodicot just just south of Banbury basically touching Banbury and I lived there until I was about 1920 and I went off to live in Norway for a few years and then came back to Banbury not willingly but ended up in Banbury where I've lived for all that to now. Now I'm now 37. I have a son who's seven years old. I um, was married briefly for a couple of years when I had my son and but I've been single for seven years and in that time I've been smoking a lot of cannabis um, which, which was my main drug of choice. I also smoke tobacco I drink tea and a bit of coffee and I like chocolate and sugar. I'm quite active um, but I don't have a TV. I use my laptop for my entertainment and to make my money I've been fixing computers for the last 12 years. Self-employed which has given me, well, since the recession anyway, has given me lots of spare time to find what I wanted to do or find the truth. Okay, so I just want to say that um, what I'm about to demonstrate, you must have the correct truths in your, in your soul. And to get the truths in your soul, you need to really understand those truths. So if I just tell you God is an actual being, an entity, made, made up of like our soul is, of half male and half female, so if I just tell you that, you know, you can't just then say, okay, now I know the truth. You have to really think through what that means. So, you know, a big part of that means that you are only half a soul and that the half of your, the other half of your soul is out there somewhere. Maybe you've met them, maybe you haven't, maybe you're with them, maybe you're not. So important to get these truths in your soul fully. And the next part of this is... I'm using a, a good quality natural cannabis, just the flower, no, none of the leaves. And you have to have had, you know, at least a nine day break without any cannabis. During my life I have, I have always been a believer in God. Belief in what God was did, did change a bit during my life. Obviously it started out with what I learned at school, and then I read the Bible, the New Testament, the Old Testament. I read the Quran, and you know all of these putting together my idea of God. Two days before I went on holiday in August, I stumbled onto this new, some of these new truths. And since then, I then went on holiday, continued my life as normal, but started to let these truths in. Then I was um, watching more of the information from AJ Miller on the Divine Truth channel and um, decided I needed to give up cannabis because I wasn't getting my dreams and I knew that from previous times when I'd gone a few days without cannabis that dreams came back to me but I quite quickly got back on the cannabis and lost the dreams again. I was okay with that because I just thought well I do get the odd dream so if there was anything very important it will get to me. But I really wasn't clear on what my sleep state was. And to know your sleep state is quite important because that's how you know your, your true soul state, if you like. Because 
in the sleep state you go into the spiritual spheres and you can only go as high as your soul state will permit if you if you've got issues whatever you cannot go higher than those issues permit I gave up cannabis and I thought you know I'll just give it up and I've been about sort of 10 days without any cannabis and um, my dad had actually died um, from cancer or from the treatments of cancer and um, I then at his, at his funeral we gave him a good send off we had a very good party lots of people came it was a very happy occasion and there was some cannabis there in that evening and I partook and um, and I noticed how high I got from both from having the new truths in me that were correct and also from having a spell without cannabis I've been able to get my dreams and understand a bit about what's going on and um, I actually believe at that point I was spiritually born again I had a very very high moment and that's what it felt like so then I went another couple of weeks without cannabis and I thought I actually want to try and do this again I want to smoke some cannabis get to this high point and see if I can actually tap into some of the emotions I'm finding it hard to to feel because it, when we're born we start getting this emotional damage to our soul from our parents and even generational ones because it's been passed on to our parents and from their parents and so on so feeling these emotions is key to actually repairing your soul if you like and so I, I two weeks ago I smoked cannabis again so this is for the second time since I'd given up um, and it was quite amazing um, some of the things that I was feeling and I was I was with people a lot a lot of the time so I was doing a lot of talking and sharing and and everything but um, at one point I was on my own and I really tapped into to some of the things I'd done in my younger childhood which were errors and what I noticed then is as I was coming off the cannabis I was actually in a better state than I was two weeks previously coming off the cannabis it still isn't pleasant coming off the cannabis coming down because it also takes quite a long time to come down you do know I did know I could really feel that and then after about a week I'd say I come down to my standard state and my dreams over the past few nights I've been in better and better places I remember all of my dreams so it shouldn't be getting high from anything else otherwise I wouldn't remember my dreams um, so so I'm very very pleased about that and I seem to be progressing quite quite well um, I was almost a little bit sort of unsure whether I should have any cannabis this time because maybe I should now just do it on my own because what I noticed was when you're high you can you can recognize things you're in a higher state so you can recognize issues you've got you can feel God much more strongly so <clears throat> what I'm about to do uh, so not quite sure what's going to happen I just make a point of you, you don't really have to intellectually um, decide what issue you're going to deal with next they kind of come naturally God has made everything so that you just deal with what comes up so I'm going to smoke a cannabis joint I'm going to go up levels reasonably quickly I've made this first one quite weak so that I don't completely blow my head off okay it's pretty cool um, right what I did is felt God um, I should have tried to video it I've just had that message that it'll be okay to video and it won't interrupt I sort of diddled about a bit and I came upstairs and I sat here and I started to feel God and I wasn't using my mind I was using my soul so I'll just tell you quickly about um, first of all the spirit told me to sit outside and then the 
sun went away and I looked down the grass and it looked a bit wet and the, and the spirit said to me take this, take this and that's before I remember to feel God and it's through the feeling then that I really felt God I'm um, working through some feelings of wanting to be famous And it's good because this, you're getting rid of this forever. Unless you keep building more up. It's unpleasant but it's tolerable. And there was fear at the start. But as I'm seeing it changing. I know then that it must be moving on. Subtle changes in the expression. This is my shame of things I thought that are errors in my soul. Things put down to me from my father and, you know, other family, my mother, you know, everyone, you know, society, whatever. Generations and generations have been put onto us. I'm saying thank you God. Now I'm beginning to feel your foot euphoria. Palms are all sweaty. My face feels lighter and my eyes under my eyes feels lighter. Well that was, that was cool, and what triggered it then was having to face humility over wanting to be famous. I've often pondered about being th famous and thought it would be really cool, thought it would be really exciting. That is another fear of being unloved, because lo God loves you and that's, that's enough. I feel like I'm a baby again, the age of a baby. This wonderful bliss and peace, which is pleasant, it's, it's a beautiful feeling. And why wouldn't you want to feel like this all the time? This is in the higher spheres of love. There's all kaleidoscopes in my eyes in a way. And there's this fuzzy feeling around the back of my neck and my back. And it's beautiful. Why wouldn't you want this all the time? Which is why you must progress, because one of the ways to work forward is to trust that God will give you what you need. He will provide for you. He is your father and mother. I'm sure there's an emotion about feeling that. We lost it. I've been going away from it my whole life. Right from the point you were conceived. The emotions, you could feel all the emotions around you. Mother and your father, from your physical father and your physical mother, wherever they were, all the time. The first time I felt empty was when my mother and father had come to Dallas, and my grandparents were there.
felt this emptiness. And I was probably three, four. Because by that time, I had lost God. I had started to be cruel to my brother by then, my younger brother. That probably totally shut out God. So then I was totally addicted to my parents. And they became my God, mother and father. They shut God out completely. <laughs> it just drifted away far enough. That's the place to start. So I turned it off for about two seconds. I just wanted to explain why. Um, I got the feeling that touch on something there which certainly needs more work. Some thoughts. And I'm all, I also think I probably have come down a level, but in a sense where I'm getting thoughts like I'd rather upload this than carry on feeling God to the full extent. I know that these emotions I'm going through are improving my soul state. I mean, it was definitely nicer really feeling God. That was just better than ever. I copied my Earth Father in error of my true Father God. And by the way, this is no spirit possessing me. I've never felt more myself in all my life. Well, not since a very young age. This is, sh you know, shame. Shame and arrogance. Arrogance mainly. Well, look at it. It's arrogance. I was just remembering Warren because um, at times he's been pretty mean to me and and I always sort of just thought he was a bit of an arsehole in a way but the times when he was being mean to me is when I was being a dick and he was good enough mate to show me to be honest I'd want to see him more You get further and further away. So I guess the older you are, the longer this sort of stuff could go on for. But I tell you what, makes you feel more alive. <laughs> more alive than watching it. And you can get into the humility. So come on, you don't have to be Jesus. You just have to be human. <sighs> to do with a cup of tea and a fag. <laughs> or I could feel more gods more God. Could I? It's more about what you think than what you smoke. Whether you have to film it or not, I don't know. It made it interesting in the sense that that really got the humility working. All the pig snorting and snobbishness. But if you're trying this at home, um, if you have any pain, just feel it. You have any tickles? Feel them. Don't ignore them. So as I'm going back in, I'm just trying to stop the thoughts and start the feeling. Which is going to sound weird if you've never done this. But you have done it, just when you were very young. Children, children. <laughs> That's why we all love children. We can see. We can see their habits. We can see in the baby. But you don't see it, but you know it. You know they've got something, so 
<laughs> so good. Most of the way through. It's like any of those with the unpleasant emotions. As soon as you agree to face them, God just gives you love. <laughs> I hope the battery hasn't run out. Because that was a good one. I'm not going to check though, because God's taking care of it. I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. Yeah. Oh, that was a dream I woke up to this morning in this really funny stream and this guy was singing about and there's this girl and she was like, oh, it's time to party and he just sits down on the phone and goes, love, love, love and he's like, it's a really cool patient and it's a really cool person to everyone and it's just so funny Maybe that's maybe that's the real Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. God, God. Jesus is the same as us. He's the same level as us, and there's lots of spirits in wonderful places. And they're so funny and loving. And This is definitely something to try to attain, people. And as long as you progress, the pain gets less, and it all gets better and better. It's John Cantley's doing his reports for him, for him, and he's done four so far, and they've had not very little, not very much media attention, and so that's kind of touching me. That, you know, it's a customer of mine and his family have to go through that, but, you know, all the wickedness that's going on in the world. It's unnecessary. Anyone does anything to anyone, you're making it worse for yourself, you're going downhill. And you want to be going uphill. So, if you do that, you're just giving yourself more of all this pain to deal with. And I've never killed anyone in my life. When I was younger, I used to bully people and I've done some work on those emotions. But, you know, leaders, leaders of the world, you have got major, major responsibilities. So, you know, and I'm obviously, you know, my YouTube videos get about 20 views and most of them don't even watch it all. And, you know, and other than that, I've just had effect on people close to me. The more responsibility you have, the more of this you can have to do. But there's so much for us to learn. We are babies. All of us.